What's up, everybody? Me and April are going to be talking about the new Disney movie, Haunted Mansion. What would you rate this movie, honey? What would you rate this movie, honey? Eight. I call it 9.1 out of 10. In this movie, it's about, about this guy named Ben who just, who just suffered the loss of his wife. Which, which caused them to try to have a deep, dark depression. He, yeah, he spends his time all alone, all alone in his apartment. Then, then this guy, then this pastor comes to him, comes to him for a job to help to help this lady and her son get rid of ghosts in the house. At first he refused, but then, but then the pastor says that they'll pay, they'll pay you, they'll pay you a thousand dollars. And then he said, I'm there. He gets he gets his camera, types, types, goes to the house, he gives the lady gives him the they gives him the money and says and says, You're you can leave right now. And said, nah, I got a job here. So he goes inside the house, starts taking starts, starts taking phony pictures. Pictures. To prove that there is no ghost. Right, what happened after that, honey? After Ben takes the photos and said there and says there's nothing wrong with the house. What happens next? What happens next? Ghosty Okay. And then when he goes home, then he starts knowing mysterious things going on. Ghosty Yeah, the ghost is followed him home. Yep. And then he comes back to the house and Lay warns him. I warned you. He didn't believe it, but he believes now, right, Andy? Yeah. Then, then, then they, then they invite the the invite Tiffany Haddish's character, who's a chip, who's a, who's some kind of a fortune teller or yeah, a medium, a yeah, medium, a medium to to explain the ghost origins. Then they found some chips laid in a bowl, played by Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah. Leoda. Yeah. They're trying. Yeah. She explains. Yeah. She explains <laughs> to them about about what kind of ghost they're dealing with and what they need and what they need to do to beat it. Um. They're the. Yeah. Ben starts bonding with the girls with the lady's son. She said he tell. Uh, he tells them that he talks to his dad. He doesn't tell. He, she doesn't tell his mother because it makes him upset. So Ben assumed that him that the boy that the boy's parents are divorced. But towards the end, when the when the ghost takes takes the boy, Ben tells the mom about how he's been talking to his dad, and he said he talks to his dad. That can't be. And why not? His dad's his dad's dead. We assumed we assumed that that the boy's parents were divorced. But that's not it. The boy's father is dead. The ghost promised the boy that if he freed him, the freedom he'll he can see his dad again. And he said Ben. And he said. And Ben tells the boy, you cannot trust the ghost. He's lying to you. And listen, I understand what you're going through, going through. And we can be both be miserable together. So he trusts Ben. The, 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 they all, all of them work together to beat, to beat, to beat the ghost. And they did it. And then all of them decided to be, to live together, be a family. And that's the end of the movie. Yep. This is an awesome movie. Just a heads up, it has not, it's nothing, it has nothing to do with, with Eddie Murphy's haunted mansion. It's completely different. It's good. It's good movie. Well, what would you rate? How do you? Right. Okay. So, good, good, good. It's a good movie to watch, especially during, especially during Halloween. So, thanks for watching.